Hello everyone and welcome to Fred Productions. In today's tutorial I will guide you through a new feature in CS5 on how to cut out hair and then I will turn the photo into a watercolor style graphic. I will start off by opening up the image in Photoshop. Then I go to the selection tool and select it all or Apple A on that. Then I go to the quick selection tool and by holding down the Alt key I interverse the selection. From here I need to go and select all the bits which show the light background and my hair. Then I go to new feature, refine edges and make sure the setting is set on black. Then I go to the brush tool, select that and keep coloring in the bits with the background and my hair visible. And don't be worried about it turning white because it will intervert to black when I let go of the mouse button like I did. And now I just keep filling in the bits that I want to be transparent. Then I go contrast, turn that up a bit, and then I go decontaminate color. I press OK. All right, now I don't need the background layer anymore, so I double click on the layer to unlock it. Then I go to the bin and I delete it. And I go to the layer and I flatten the image. And from here on, I go image adjustments and desaturate. Now I need to go image adjustment and curves. I need to change the contrast uh, so it will be more appropriate when I turn the image into a solid black and white. Image adjustment and posterize. Now make sure to put the settings on 2 so that the image will be either white or black. Uh, this is a very good feature if you're into stencil art as well. Then I go to the internet and I Google free watercolor Photoshop brushes and there's a whole lot from the internet to get free downloads from and here I found a couple of good looking watercolor brushes. So I download them which I've already done and I've already started coloring in the composition that I wish. And now I go and pick the brush tool and load brushes. Then I change the color. Now I will actually I will change the size of the brush and start filling in bits. It's showing you what I've done previously. Now I go to back to the main picture. I'll drag it into the new composition. Let it go and I try to position it. Yep. Then I go into the watercolor layer and I double click on it, duplicate layer. And then I go select a new layer and do Apple A and then Apple back Backspace to color the layer white and I put it between the watercolors. Then I go back to the photo layer and I go select color range. And I use the picker to select the white bits and I go down to the watercolor and I erase those bits and then I turn off my photo layer and this is the outcome. Now I'll choose the eraser tool to get rid of some of the bits that doesn't look good in my design. And then I go to brush tool. I'd have to change the color from white and I'll make it some kind of orange color. And I need to change to get a brush as well. And I 
resize it, make it a bit bigger. And then I just go over the sharp edges to make it look a bit more sketchy, a bit more rough. Change the color. And I change brush. And I change the size of it. And I'll just go over that sharp edge a bit more. Now you can put in a lot more time and uh, precision in uh, doing all these bits. And I'll let you do that. And I will thank you very much for watching Fred Productions. Uh, my name is Henrik Limblad and I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. And I hope to see you soon again. Thank you.